Hey what's everyone it's your boy Kirby here and today I'm going to be showing you guys probably the most genuine and realistic value list for update 10.5. I plan on doing an, a value list every time there are more units added into the trading scenes so stay tuned for those every time that happens but before we get into this video I'm going to be doing a pretty big giveaway I guess you could say I'm going to be doing a Kisuke Bankai unit giveaway. All you gotta do is like the video, subscribe, and comment below why you should win in your Roblox username. The giveaway will be rolled on my stream on the 18th of February, which is a Saturday. So make sure to tune in for that. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So we're gonna get straight into this. I'm gonna kind of explain the the reasons why units are in those positions and kind of explain the trading is along the video. But just know that every unit in each tier aren't the exact same value it's gonna go in the tiers from left to right in highest value to lowest value in that specific tier bracket just to kind of i don't really want to determine prices of units i just i'm just kind of showing around unit equivalencies but yeah i'm not trying to dictate the market or anything with this video so yeah so First unit is going to be Blue Devil. His regular is going to be the highest in S. And then he's going to also be the highest in double S or his shiny version. Brook is going to be around middle C. And his Evo is going to be high B. And that's because he's a meta unit. Uh, Emily is going to be low C because she's a meta unit, but she's also not as new. But she has a good chance to rise up in value, especially because of the tournament. Her shiny is going to be on a high S, same reasoning why, and because her cosmetic is nice. She's a waifu, and she's actually a pretty rare unit to say the least. Arisa Lightning is going to be one of the highest in C tiers because she's a meta unit. She's a good hybrid, and then her shiny is going to be up in second highest in A. The same reasoning, and because her shiny is pretty rare. Regular Ace is going to be around high D. It's kind of useless. It's just limited. His shiny is going to be around high C because his shiny version is kind of rare to find. Future Gohan is going to be SS because he was the first ever LB unit in the game and his SS. And he's going to be shiny is going to be SSS, the most valuable unit in the game. With that whole reasoning, and there's barely in there. And his cosmetic is extremely cool. A lot of people in that cosmetic. Getsu, he's gonna be like a a mid C because he's he's a pretty solid unit and he's pretty old and his shiny is gonna be highest in B because it's obviously he's an old unit. Uh he a is gonna be around a middle a mid A. Because he's he's an LB unit, so LB units have a high value, and then he's gonna be mound mid S as well. Ichi Hollow is gonna be mid D. Not really anything special, but his shiny is going to be mid C. It's going to be a right right in here. Let me move these real quick. So it's going to be looking like that right now. And then Jelly's just behind Airs Lightning because Airs Lightning is a lot better of a unit. Jelly's just high because he's a solid unit and because he's also was pretty rare to get. His shiny is going to be high A. He's going to be worth more than Airs Lightning because he was harder to get. And he's still a very solid unit. Uh, Kent's gonna be low C because I mean he's a decently recent unit and he's not really the strongest and he doesn't have really the greatest of like abilities but his shiny is gonna be a low B it's it's, it's a shiny so shiny is gonna have a, a pretty good value uh, Kisuke is gonna be around a high to mid C he's a, a meta unit but a lot of people have him and I mean he's just He's just like a general good unit. His shiny version is going to be a high A just behind Amelia. Because I mean, it's it's a pretty cool unit. And his shiny was pretty hard to get. Uh, you got Kit. Kit's just going to be above Kent. He's just an older unit. It's, that's kind of all the reasoning why. And then his shiny version is also going to be above Kent. Just above. Kumo. He's going to be a high A. He's gonna be right here. Uh, it's just science is shiny. His regular is gonna be right here because I mean, he's an LB unit, 
but he's just not really like that crazy but he's higher than Hie. his shiny version is going to be just below Hie. and then uh, that's because he was around during an easier version you see just below brook just because it's lucy she's a pretty old unit and people like her because of the looks uh but her shiny is gonna be below emily and it's just gonna be right below he lucky just below kit it's just a decent unit decent unit in general to be honest nothing kind of crazy you've got uh his shiny version and shiny versions just gonna go below ace He's just not really that crazy, but his his shiny holds some sort of value. Ring for Luffy, low D, the mid D. I'm not one of the first ever limited units, but he was just super easy to get, and he's just a, a rare, or sorry, an epic. So he's just not really that looked at. Lulu, he's gonna be one of the bottom of A. He's a limited. He's pretty cool. He's hard to get. It's just. He's still in banner, you can still get him. His value will always decrease and decrease and decrease until eventually they remove out of banner. Freddy Lulu, second highest. There's nothing really to say about it. It's one of the rarest units in the game. It's just, it'd be higher than future Gohan if they would have took him out of banner in trading or around the trading time, but maybe if they still take him out now, there's time for him to lower in price. It's just kind of how they decide to deal with him. Is the best way to put it. Mecha, Rizzo, just below. Marine Luffy. The shiny version is just above. He's not really crazy. Uh, Geko Moria, just above Ace. He's just an absolutely useless unit. It's just. He's a tradable unit. He's a mythic, so. He's not really that useless. He's just not really the greatest. His shiny is gonna be below Ken. And then you've got uh, the, the, the monstrous Luffy's from Marine, uh, not Marine Ford. Um, the 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 the, the uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's the one with Gekko wearing all those. Uh, the Halloween event that they did. He's he's not really crazy. He was also a very easy unit to get. Roto, just but Brook. The only reason why is. She's more of a meta unit because of her slow, her AOE, her range, her SPS, and the amount of units she can place of her. It's five, so I mean, and her cosmetic is a lot cooler for a lot of people, so that's why she's there. But her shiny is going to be lower than Brooke, just kind of how the market is. Uh, you got Renzi, low ace, also another useless unit, but. His shiny is going to be right here. No, sorry. Right here. Because his shiny is pretty hard to get. Shiny Seiki. I mean, regular Seiki Star is going to be right here. Just below Kumo. Because <coughs> he's uh, an older unit. But nothing kind of crazy. He, just, he has a decent cosmetic. It's just that he's an old LB unit. And his shiny is going to be just below Blue Devil. Because obviously he's an LB unit. And it's pretty old. It was hard to get, so. You got Tango. Tango is going to be at the bottom, bottom of C. Because he's uh, the first ever unit that you could get from Infinite Castle. So, and that was at 100, and a lot of people were farming it then. And he's not really a useful unit at all. Compared to Emily, who's been going up in price because she's starting to come into meta. You got a uh, um, uh, Tango Shiny. Wasn't really many that got him, so it's gonna be right here by Kisuke. You've got Erza through heart, just beloved Amelia because of her bleed. And it's a pretty old unit, so kind of a lot of people want her. And her shiny version is gonna go right here before below Kent. Because I mean, it's just her cosmetic isn't really the greatest. Especially compared to a lot of other units. And obviously she's not really that crazy of a unit, so not really many people are demanding for her when they can get a better Erza shiny version. Valkyrie's just gonna be above. It's just a, a better version. And her shiny version of Valkyrie is gonna be right here, just below Perona. 
same kind of the same thing it's a decent cosmetic but you can get better and really you just want airs of you get normal yamamoto he's gonna be high c because he's coming into meta now with his evil dune uh version and it's a very very strong strong unit or burn shiny version is going to fall into like mid to low a just above lucy though that's just the main reason of shiny is rare for him he's a very meta burn unit android 21 hello tango shiny love hiei she's a, a very recent one but she has a pretty cool cosmetic and that's the reason why she's gonna be right here because her cosmetic is really cool and a lot of people are liking it and she was her lb unit was a lot harder to get and the less comp like a lot more competition wise because before they like they announced that they were updating a couple hours before so there was so many people trying to get it and when it released there was so much hype around it because of her cosmetic and the amount of people that were trying to get her Ginge, he's just gonna be above tango he, he's he's terrible Nothing really more to say. Uh, but his shiny is gonna, his shiny is just gonna be right here, below uh, Lulu. I mean, it's it's still shiny. It he was still pretty hard to get. But he's just not really that good. Not really the greatest unit to go for. However, he's gonna be the highest in C tier. He's a, a pretty meta unit, but he, obviously he's like a recent unit, so a lot of people have him. His shiny version is just going to be in high. He has a high value and his shiny cosmetic is really cool. So a lot of people are running it. I don't remember his name. He's that bad. He's at bottom. Nobody really wants him. He's no value. He's awful. But his shiny version is going to be the highest though because it's, it's his shiny version. I'm not running. It's kind of a decently hard unit to find these days, but it's just absolutely awful. But this is kind of uh right now a value list and i didn't i wasn't the only one that made this this was made by a couple people the main one that really went over this with me is pro Haxer. he's in my discord server if you want to join explanation when well i'm thinking on twitch go to the description and go to the discord server he's there he's active often if you have questions he'll answer it and why a unit's there i'll also answer in the comments and he'll probably answer in the comments as well so if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that go ahead and dm me i mean not demi go ahead and comment and i'll respond back to you and explain but this is just basically right now the units all their values after a couple days of spending time in the anime adventures uh, official server just testing around trading and all the other communities and this is the tier list I've been using for a couple days. And I was able to get myself from an um, Emily all the way up to a Lulu and a Shiny Weather. So I can definitely vouch this works. So I've had a couple other people test it out and they've also said it works. So yeah, this isn't just a, a thing where it won't work or anything like that. This is a absolutely valid unit list, non-biased. And as you can tell... I'm not trying to corrupt the market because I don't have values there next to them. I'm just kind of putting them in tiers. I'm not putting a value on them. So, yeah. Take this with a grain of salt of how you want it to see it. But this is kind of technically the most valid trade unit that you can find on Anime Adventures at the moment. That's the most realistic and non-biased. Yeah. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe. Comment below. Obviously, I have the giveaway, so make sure you participate in that. And obviously, questions, concerns, uh, deep explanations on some things, comment below or join the Discord and message me or a pro hacker, and we'll be happy to explain to you. Anyways, peace.